Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video I will be creating a new Halloween card featuring some new products from Miss Ink. And I started off by stamping and cutting out one of the large uh, grouping of cats in the Feeling Spooky stamp set. And I also started by coloring in, in coloring it in with my Copic markers. You could use whatever medium you like when you're coloring these, but I love using alcohol markers. I think I get a really good result and it goes quite quickly. And since I'm no expert at coloring, I really like when an image comes together quickly and I like the result. So I just tend to gravitate towards my alcohol markers, but you can absolutely use this with more watercolors or whatever medium you like. So I will speed up the coloring here quite a lot. You can see some of the markers that I use, but I went for both the cold and the warm gray markers and I just use maybe two or three shades for all of the cats here. and. Um, I put the shadow layer where I think uh, the darker parts would be and the lighter parts where I thought them would like to be. And I also used a couple of more bright and uh, fun colors to the hats uh, in the background there. And I went sort of in rainbow um, colors, in the rainbow colors, not per se in the rainbow order, but with the rainbow colors. So I just try to sneak in a rainbow whenever I can. <laughs> so I did no fancy coloring for these uh, either. I maybe used two or three shades uh, for every color family here that I used. And you will see later on in this video that I cover up a lot of the bright colors in uh, my hats here with some white gel pen creating dots and lines and stuff like that just to bring them a little bit more to life. So when I was finished with this, we just finish off the purple head here and then we will move on to our background. And the background I stamped uh, a large um, like greeting from the Halloween sentiment set and just says spooky. And then I went in with my ink blending tool here and this one is from Ranger. And I use a couple of different shades of purple and I will also use some brown and black um, just to finish everything off. And my thought was that the cats was going to lie on top of our sentiment here. So I will ground my image with that and um, I will just go around and leaving sort of a highlight on top of my sentiment there where the cats are going to go. And I, you can see here I have measured this wrong, but I will cut it slightly down in a second just to make sure that all of my images are fitting on top of my panel here. And uh, I accidentally actually went in with a really dark brown color, but I sort of liked it, so I went with it. So here you can see I realized my mistake and then I just kept going because I thought it looked quite cool. And then I also went in with black, that was my intended color. And you can see I'm using a blending brush now and I don't use, I like use one for brown and black, so I don't switch them out. It works great for me, but if you want to be sure that you have the exact right color, you probably should switch uh, your tools between colors. So since I did that like happy accident with the brown, I thought it would look cool with some uh, sprinkled star in background that had sort of the same color. So I went in with a glimmer paste called Rich Cocoa. And this one is from Nuvo and I, I really like this one. I, I don't think I ever used this color before. So I was happy to finally have a reason to use it. And I thought it looked quite cool in the end here. Uh, for me, this is a really unusual color palette, this violent uh, brown color shade, but for Halloween I think it worked out quite nicely. And since I have all the bright colors at my stamped and colored image here, I thought it was quite nice to have a solid uh, color for the background, uh, not to overpower this card too much with all heavy colors and such things. 
And here you can see what I meant previously with going in with a white gel pen. I really like this, just going in, creating small dots and stars and stripes, whatever you can imagine doing on hats like these. And yeah, I just had fun playing around with a white gel pen. And you can also see I did some shading to um, the cats as well, and I created some pink cheeks and some dots on the cheeks as well. And for the letters, I just wanted to highlight them as well, so I did some stripes and dots here just to bring some attention to to the letters actually and that was pretty much the last step I did before I adhere everything down to my card base here and it's it ended up being a standard A2 size card panel in a landscape uh, sort of way and I hope you like this uh, project if you did I will have some more close-up pictures over at Miss Inks blog and I hope you stop by next time Bye!